Cheesy as is. You look better with your makeup on. Did anybody tell you? Yo, what is going on guys? It's all about Blanton bringing you guys a brand new video on this channel and today I'm going to be sitting down and having a conversation with you guys about GCSEs. In fact, education in general. So as you guys may or may not know, I am 16 years old, I've just finished GCSEs and my results day is tomorrow, which is the 24th of August. And me, as a person, I am freaking out. I am so nervous. I might not look nervous, right? But I am nervous ever since this morning started, right? This whole day I've been nervous and it's pissing me off. But as you guys may or may not know, I'm 16 years old and I've just finished my GCSEs and my results day is tomorrow, which is the 24th of August and me, I am nervous. I, I My nerves are literally just like going like all over the place. Obviously, it's not a bad thing to be scared because I know the nerves and the panicking, they just kick in naturally because GCSEs is a major stepping stone in your life. Like, it is a big thing. It's just not some ordinary day that happens once in your life. No, 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 no. GCSEs determines your life. If I go tomorrow morning to my school and I pick up my GCSE results and I fail, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not giving up. I'm not a coward. I'm going to be calling up McDonald's and getting a job. That's right. Grind don't stop. Be grind never ever stops. Money is the motive. Plus, if you work at McDonald's, you get free food in your lunch times. What else do you want? Come on, man. Food before anything and anyone else. Food is bae. Now, I'm only joking, guys. To whoever that is watching this and is picking up their GCSE results tomorrow, I assure you, you're going to do well. Have faith in yourself and be positive. You know what, guys? In my opinion, the education system is messed up. Like, it is absolutely just so stupid and ridiculous. People like me, right? Like, teenagers are told how smart or how dumb they are through a couple of letters on a paper. How ridiculous is that? Like, a few letters does not determine how smart or clever or how dumb or stupid you are. Alright guys, hear me out, okay? Every single person in this world has different talents, different skills, different things they're good at. And for the education system to make us all sit the same exam and grade us and judge us on how smart or dumb we are based on those grades is just ridiculous. I just think it is completely wrong. Like each and every single individual is good at different things. Like for example, someone might be good at football, but they won't be good at maths. Someone might be good at maths and won't be good at football. Like for example, if you put a monkey and a fish on the line and tell them both to climb the tree and whoever climbs the tree first wins, who do you think is going to win? Of course the monkey because the fish can't climb. However, if you put the monkey and the fish both on the line again and tell them to swim, who will win? The fish because monkeys can't swim. Like, do you guys get the theory? Okay, so Albert Einstein said this, okay, let me just read you guys this quote. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. The exact same way, guys, do not let the education system judge you on how smart or stupid you are based on these grades. Do not let them define who you are and how stupid you are. Jesus Christ, I'm actually sick, you know. Words of wisdom coming from AAP. Cheese, gang, gang, gang. And lastly, to top it off, let me give you guys just two examples of why education isn't everything, okay? So Simon Cowell, you guys should know him, his net worth is $550 million. $550 million. And yes, that's right, and Simon Cowell only got two O-levels, which basically means GCSEs. So technically, Simon only got two GCSEs, and his net worth is $550 million. Secondly, Alan Sugar, the guy from The Apprentice, if you guys don't know him, his net worth is $1.15 billion, not even million, $1.15 billion. And guess what his qualifications are? Nothing. He got no GCSEs. He was a school dropout. That's it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what videos you want me to do next, and subscribe. Road to 10,000 subscribers! I hope every single person watching this gets the grades they want and even if you're not taking exams, I hope you do good and get far in life because I know you can, you have it in yourself if you stay positive and believe in yourself and on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.